Hey there again, Scott and Camille. Still no arrests in this case, but according to New Orleans top cop, his investigators and detectives are working around the clock to bring everyone involved to justice as five of the ten victims still remain hospitalized tonight. What happened is infuriating. It makes you want to scream or cry uh, or both. Uh, and so I want to be clear uh, to the victims and their families and to the people of New Orleans uh, that this will not go unanswered and we will work around the clock to bring those uh, who were engaged in this uh, senseless act to justice. It's a message we've heard before following a crime that rocked the streets of New Orleans. This time it was the shootings on Bourbon Street early Sunday morning that wounded 10 people, including 21 year old Brittany Thomas, who remains in critical condition. We have not stopped working on this case since it started. We have non stop assigned detectives. I can assure you today we know a whole lot more than yesterday, and we're not going to know as much as we're going to know tomorrow. The NOPD released this surveillance footage of a possible person of interest in the case. Investigators are looking for up to two gunmen. U.S. Attorney Kenneth Polite called on the citizens of New Orleans to band together against what he called the new battle for New Orleans. Either you are for a safe, in peaceful New Orleans or you are against us. Standing on the sidelines is no longer an option. Landrew also called what's happening on the streets of New Orleans a national problem, referring to gun violence in cities like Chicago, New York and LA. He went as far as calling on the federal government to deploy domestic soldiers to curb the street violence across America. Morally, economically, spiritually and for the good of this nation's strength and security, I think we ought to do more. And as for the victims, the 10 of them, four are from Louisiana, five are from outside of the state. One of them, a 21 year old female, is from Australia. Multiple cash rewards are now being offered related to this case. And anyone with information about it is urged to call Crime Stoppers, that number, 822 1111. Reporting live on your side from City Hall, I'm Andy Cunningham. Back to you. All right, Andy, and the mayor did send a letter to President Obama requesting additional assistance, not just for New Orleans, but for cities across America struggling to fight violent crime.